This is a video on how to start the 1948 Ford truck. Uh, first, we've got a choke lever over here. In the summertime, we probably do not need the choke. So the first thing we're going to do to start it is put the key in, turn the key to the on position. The gas pedal, it's not like a fuel-injected car, you're going to have to pump it. So I want you to pump the gas pedal to the floor about eight times. Then come over here to the start button, press on the start button, and push the clutch in first so you don't have to turn the transmission at the same time. When you go to push the start button to actually start it, depress the throttle or the, the gas pedal about halfway down and then crank. Now go vroom, rev the gas pedal. I'm going from all the way up to about halfway down and I'm going to keep doing that to keep it running. It won't idle at first, so what you're going to have to do is you can let the clutch out and hold it at about quarter throttle. So I'm holding the gas pedal down about a quarter of the way. If it starts to stall, I'm actually going to feather the gas pedal and work the gas pedal like this at about quarter to half throttle to keep it running. Don't let the gas pedal all the way off until the truck is thoroughly warmed up. It probably will have to have your foot on the gas pedal for about at least one minute while it's starting. Um, I'll go ahead and shut this truck off now. You can see it's starting to idle already. In cold weather, the only difference is going to be you're going to take this choke lever and pull it out all the way, push it back in about half, then follow the same procedure. I won't pump the gas pedal now, but I'll uh, just go next to it. Pump the gas pedal eight times to the floor, then hold it at about half throttle, turn the key on, push the clutch in, and then push the start button. And you're going to definitely have to work the gas pedal, and you're going to work the gas pedal up and down and be shaking your foot about this fast, and that actually works the accelerator pump and the carburetor to keep the fuel spraying. So again, it's not like a fuel-injected car. You're really going to have to work the gas pedal to keep it going. If you get in a situation where you smell fuel, make sure that you've got the choke lever all the way in and hold the gas pedal to the floor while you crank. And just keep on cranking. And eventually, as you're cranking, you'll hear the motor want to start to take off and start. Leave the gas pedal to the floor until it actually starts. And then you can be revving it and go vroom, vroom, and keep working the gas pedal up and down. And don't ever let off of it because it'll probably stall. Uh, in that cold weather, once you feel that the engine can start to run on its own, then you can push the choke lever in. So that should complete the procedure.